welcome. Two videos in one day. <laughs> I don't know why these accents keep cropping up. It's not even funny. So I'm making this video because I feel like this person needs a bit of help right now. The channel name is called Tyler Russia, and she recently got banned from TikTok for apparently breaking community guidelines, but TikTok still haven't even to this day told her why she's been banned. Like, how are you out here banning people and not telling them what they've done wrong? Acting like you're all high in the sky when there's literal nonces on your website. Salmon. So what you telling me is me giving positivity and making a space where anybody could come in and feel like someone cares about them, someone loves them, someone has their best interests and would actually listen to the mundane shit they have on their mind means nothing. It means nothing. Because I am not a Charlie D'Amelio. Because I am not an Addison fucking Ray. It's one of them things. Putting your true form and all your mighty effort into something. And just because someone with more power doesn't like what you stand for or just dislikes you for no valid reason can literally ruin what you've built. We've seen it on YouTube as well. Recently with the Suzalu and Steejo stuff where they, you know, they're contacting YouTube, going around demonetizing channels just because they don't share the same opinion as them. It's pretty immature. It's more than that. It's absolutely disgusting. What the fuck is a hype house but rich ass white kids doing nothing? You don't care about black lives or your black community when you shadow ban half of the black people on your app. You shadow ban fat white women, fat black women, fat Latina women. You shadow ban people who you think looks poor. TikTok, you're full of shit and I'm oh, so glad you're going down. Promoting skinny tees, dancing in bikinis, or guys without shirts. But when it comes to actual people that don't fit that agenda, you don't push them. Or in this woman's case, just get banned. Are you serious? In a world, does it matter? What colour your skin is? Like, I even notice, I don't even notice people's skin colour, dude. It's only stuff like this that reminds me that this stuff is still going on. Because in my head, everything's fine. I don't see, I see people, I don't see a colour. In a world, does it fucking matter that you have more body to love than someone else? No. So how you can get judged on stupid things that is your choice and no one else's? is baffling to me because everyone's out here preaching be you man be you but then clearly not oh and you know the actual people that have the power to say something they don't you know what could actually make a change and they don't and this is where I just you've lost me now i think it speaks on their character kind of louder than words if <laughs> you're out there like yeah guys be positive you know, love you for you, that when there's literal content creators on your platform getting banned for being them. You, you're full of shit. Okay. You want to have white girls on there doing blackface with millions of followers, but okay. You had a white man bully me for months on that app. A white man who is known to get restraining orders on him. Women have had to change their work schedules because this man stalked them so much. And he was on me. He was a fucking predator to me and countless other black women. And you did not delete his account. He made countless accounts and you let them stay up. How many niggers do I have to be called before they're the problem and not me? Sadly, that's literally uh, what TikTok is now. I can't really confirm what she's saying is true. I don't know much about TikTok to speak about like a mega mind, but it's just funny to me, all these creators that cared so much about Black Lives Matter when there was a hype for it. But when there's people like this woman speaking out, a fellow content creator accusing TikTok of doing her dirty and where is everyone? No one literally cares. At the end of the day, Maybe it was all about virtue signaling, but when it actually comes to helping people on a ground level that you see every day, everyone just goes because it's not in the media, it's not anywhere, so what's the point? All the fake ass influencers, you know, oh, you know the ones that were doing for the Insta photos? Literally suck an egg. You're contributing fucking zero. TikTok, you were shit when you arrived and you're shit now. The least you could do is leave us alone and just fuck off, yeah? <laughs> Especially if what this woman's saying is true. Ooh, 
this is racism. Like, literally. This don't look very good. Well, you know, you may as well go out with a bang. A eh, TikTok, yeah? Your nipples hanging out in all. Your true colours are showing. I'm going to leave the full link to Tyler's video down below. I definitely recommend you check it out. It is quite emotional. Why is it so hard to treat people equally? I don't get it. When will the world just move on and we could just all be the same? I feel like if companies are caught doing this, then there needs to be some sort of um, action taken. I think this is absolutely disgusting. Since when was it okay to not treat people equally? Were you fucking born yesterday? Like, are you actually stupid? Because I think you are. You not go to school? No. Your platform is literally nothing special. Anyway, here you are on your high horse, clearly segregating certain people and making them feel isolated. This woman in this video is so emotional and I can feel it through the bloody screen, dude. What is the goal? When will people understand that it doesn't matter how you pop out the wee mas. I mean, if TikTok is using, you know, skinny people, six pack guys to gain more traction, no wonder society is uh, getting dumber. Probably what they want to be fair. You know how it's all linked to China? It makes sense. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. I wish this woman nothing but the best though, and I'm really sad to hear this has happened to her. So you know what? I never thought I'd say it, but you know what? Ban this motherfucker. Take TikTok down. Take it away, since there's nothing but racist and 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 motherfuckers who just want to bully people. Take it away. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take care. I'll see you in the next one <gasps> in a bit. <laughs>